Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Deja. On this channel, I focus on beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that is something that you're into, I'm sure you'll find something here that you like. So yes, you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and welcome to the family. So you guys, today I'm going to do a little chit chat, get ready with me and just talk about how I've been feeling lately, what I've been sort of going through and create this very easy makeup look as I always say. So if you guys want to see how I created this look and also what I have to say, then just keep on watching. Hey you guys, so today I am bringing out a very old, old, old palette and that is the Morphe 350 palette. You guys, this is like one of my first palettes and still looks good. So as y'all can see, I already started getting creative. But yeah, I want to go ahead and do this eye on camera. <sighs> so what have you guys been up to? Now there are no names for these shades, so I'll just have to point as I go. I'm starting off with this deep brown shade here, and I'm going to, well every time I decide to record, all these people decide to like drive by. I'm gonna tap this brown shade throughout my crease, and this is the e.l.f. contour brush that I'm just using to tap this in. Crazy because my sister and I, when we first started with makeup, like we literally did not know about these good makeup brands. So we would just hop on Instagram and see what was trending lately. Like, oh, we have to get a palette from this person. We have to get a palette from that person. I remember my very first makeup palette was I think it's a nine pan palette from Jivia's place, and it pretty much had like all browns and neutral tones in it. And yeah, that was my very first makeup palette. I believe that one cost me about $20 and I was like, oh, that's a lot, you know, for a palette, but now looking back, it's really not. So I'm going to take this peachy shade and use that to blend out this brown. You guys, lately I haven't been posting on social media really, like I haven't been on Instagram, have not been on TikTok. Snapchat, Facebook, like nothing. I'm like, I just need some time to myself and just like, you know, take care of myself. And because really lately at work, things have been rough. It has been very, very, very crazy. I know we're still in the middle of a pandemic and it's not getting any better right now. No, oh, sorry, and this is the MAC 217 brush that I'm using to blend up the second shadow. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 brush, looks like this, and I'm gonna go in with this very light brown shade right here that's above the second color, and use that to blend it out. Yeah, work has been crazy. The other day I stayed late, and I did not take a lunch, so, it was just really, really, really rough. So my first day off was yesterday and I pretty much took the entire day and just like did nothing. And sometimes that's what self-care looks like to me, just doing absolutely nothing for the whole day. Stayed in my pajamas, drink water, and just watch um, this show on HBO Max called Mayor of East Town, by the way, if y'all have not watched that, y'all need to watch it. Pushy put me onto it. It's only seven episodes. You got the, the drama, the craziness in that show. I could not go. I just had so many questions. And then Quisha would not tell me who was a suspected killer. It was just too much on my soul. But I got through all seven episodes yesterday. And that was my self-care. I was like, I don't want to do anything. Talked to my mom on the phone. I was like, I want to come over. I'm staying home all day. I just need to rest. So that's what I did. We are cutting the crease. I'm using my P. Louise face in rumor six. I have it on a napkin over here and I'm just like rubbing it. Trying not to get too much product on the brush, but um just cut the crease. While that's drying down, I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner, my NYX matte liquid liner. Someone recommended a liner by Urban Decay. I have to go and pick that up. But, um, I don't know if I'm going to do a wing or not. Let's see. This might call, call for a baby wing. Oh, I messed up right there. A little peak right there. Y'all see it? Like, go. 
and then whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, you guys, so next I'm gonna take this small brush here. I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade here. And I'm going to use that in the front part of my eye. I was actually supposed to get up this morning and do my hair. I washed it yesterday and then stretched it, but I woke up and I was like, I don't feel like it, so I'm it. <laughs> Let's normalize doing what we feel like doing for the day. Like, if you don't feel like doing something, don't force yourself to do it. Just don't. Like, I'll do it another day. I wish I would have used a lighter base. I think these shades would have popped a little bit more had I used the lighter base. And then we wanted to use this shimmer here. That's going to be the shimmer that I put on the rest of my eye. So yeah, I have four days off and I honestly was going to pick up and go to work, help them out, but I realized like, oh man, when they say compassion fatigue is really a thing, it really, really, really is. Like especially now where families can't really be with their loved ones in a hospital and so you have to be extra compassionate and try to see things, you know, be very pathetic and although that's natural for me, it's like it, it's tough because you're doing it like every day and pretty much with every patient. So I think it's important for me, especially as a nurse, to always be mindful of what other people are going through and then realize my limits as well, like not push myself in. So I didn't pick up. I'm going to take these four days off and just do what it is that I want to do. You guys, I purchased a few new things from ColourPop. And you guys, if you don't know, my favorite brow pencil is from ColourPop. It's the Precision Brow Pencil in black and brown. And for some reason, I don't know why I thought it was low. But or more, let's just say that I am set on brow pencils for a hot minute. I did use the Juvia's Place Eye Sculpt Eye Shade Palette on my brows today. I used it to fill my brows in and I really do like it. So um, I also bought two new um, two new creme gel liners and this one here, ooh, can y'all see? It's called Peach of Me. And then this one, y'all know I hate, if you don't know, I hate snake print. Like I just, I, I hate snakes, but yeah. This one is called Honey Dude Stomper. It looks like that. I don't even wanna touch the packaging, that's why I hate snakes. But this is what's in the, Peach of Me set. That's kind of hard to see with the lights on. Let me do what I already have, but I really did need a brown. Let me try to say the shade Bay Breeze. Let me see. Let me see how this one looks in the water line. Now that I'm... Oh, I got it on my contact lens. Okay, the glide on really easily. I wish I was a little neater. I do want to take that first shade that I used and add this to my lower lash line. Looking pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start working on my face. If I can remember doing in the corner highlight, I will. But anyway, I'm going to take my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And that will be my primer that I'm going to use today. I would just do my summertime makeup routine because I don't know if I feel like really having on full face of makeup. But um, I'm going to take my NYX HD Studio Photogenic uh, Concealer in the shade CW08. I've been really liking how this looks with my Fenty um, concealer and I really do need to go get another one of these. I also need to go get another Fenty because this is my backup and I need to have a backup for my backup, which I no longer have. So I need to make my way to Sephora or I need to go ahead and order it because I'll be darned if I run out. But yes, people, let's just normalize doing what you want to do in a day and if that means being in health and relaxing, if that means giving yourself a facial, treating yourself to something, then a thousand percent, I think that you should do it. Don't pressure yourself, push yourself beyond your limits. Because I think for me, if I do that, I don't feel like my work is as good. I don't feel like I'm as focused and motivated. So that's why I'm like, I didn't push myself to create content 
you know, when I was off the other day or yesterday. Because I'm like, it just won't be my best. And I always want to give my best. That's anything that I'm doing. Now, something that I do want to get done today or try to do, I want to go to Target and just walk around and see what kind of decorations they have for the fall. Because I really do want to get into the fall spirit and, you know, give my house or my apartment, you know, some spirit, you know. <laughs> I don't want it to just be blah all the time. I think the biggest thing that I need to do though first is get a dining room table. Um, I said it plenty of times here, like I don't want a dining room table, but it's like I have a dining room and if I want people to come over, you know, so we can just have a relaxing day inside and do activities, I need to get it. So I did see a few online. I do some shopping at Wayfair, wayfair.com and um, I've seen a few that I like, so I may place an order today or maybe sometime this week. I don't know, I have to really like it. This is my color rain bronzer. I love this bronzer. Give me a nice little, you know, a nice little, a nice little, just kiss. <laughs> you guys, I have really, 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 really been loving these lashes from Yama's Eyes. They are in the style Spicy Mommy. Um. It's time for me to go ahead and place another order because these are legit my favorite lashes. I'm going to put some glue on my lashes here and we'll pop these on once the glue is tacky. I know I have other mascaras, but if you know me, you know like, or if you're an OG, not like I've been here for forever and I got a large following, but you know like I hate, hate, hate mascara. So I only own like maybe three or four total and this telescopic is the one that I use the most now. I just keep the wand because it's hard to get it back into the bottle sometimes. These lashes really do bring a look to life. Uh, I hate that I went heavy with the creme gel liner on it either or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of blush. Um, this is the MAC Raisin Powder Blush. Looks like Z's. Just to get a little something extra to my face. We don't have on a ton of makeup, so we can do a little bit of blush. Let's go back into the Morphe palette. Yeah, let me see. I think I'll use this shade right here. That I am going to use for my inner corner highlight today. It has like a blue hue to it. I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna take my BFF4 lip pencil and line my lips. And I'm gonna use Dose of Color, Dose of Colors Cork to fill my lips in. Lately I've been rock rocking a glossy look, so I'm gonna do matte today. I'm gonna go on with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, y'all, it's like pretty much empty. Yeah, it's pretty much empty, but <laughs> I do have backup. You guys, let me go fix my hair and everything. I'll be right back in a minute. All right, you guys, so I'm back. It's fine. Look, I put on my headband wig and my jewelry. I love these earrings. These hoop earrings I actually got from Etsy from this shop here. This is my second time shopping with her. I got the small hoops first and then I went back for the larger pair and she has another pair that's bigger than these. And I think I want them. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, you guys, um, hope y'all enjoyed this chit chat here with me. I just think it's super important for us to take care of ourselves in every single aspect and not force yourself if you just don't feel like doing something. I know what the healthcare field right now Pay is at an all-time high, the money is good, but so is someone who is mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, spiritually sound. And so for me, that trumps the money any day. So yeah, I just need some time to myself. I'm feeling a lot better. And yeah, so I think I'm about to get out of the house today and actually go do something. I'm gonna go walk around and target. That's really what I wanna do. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Wait, hold on. I got some on my teeth. So yes, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.